So you go out and you shoot an amazing event and you end up overshooting it. And now you just wanna batch process all of your images so you can just take a look at them easily. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to batch process images in raw therapy. It's super easy, super helpful, and super fast. So fire up raw therapy and let's jump into it. I am in the file browser tab over here on the right and you can see all of my images. Now, if I'm gonna batch process these, the best way to do it is to select however many images you want to batch process. To select all images, you actually hit Control A. That's Control A on both a Mac and a PC. You don't hit Command A on a Mac. It's always Control A. And then you can come over here to the Batch Edit tab. And I can go ahead and add anything that I want here. So I'm gonna go ahead and come to the exposure and I'm just gonna tick Auto Levels and raw therapy will go through every single image and add an auto levels to it. Now, if I select one specific image and I double click into that image, you can see that the exposure compensation has been dealt with, the black levels, the lightness, all of that. I'm going to go back to my file browser, hit Control A again to select everything. And then maybe I wanna increase the saturation of all the images. So I'll increase that to something like 10 and Let's go ahead and add some local contrast just for fun. And now that I've made these edits, I can export all of these images. I'll hit Control A again and go to right click, put to queue. And you can see that all of these images now have this little cog icon in the upper left hand corner. And I don't know if you noticed, but over here in the queue, it now says 88, meaning there are 88 images in the queue. So if I just click this button right here, which is go or start the export, then raw therapy will process all of these images. I just real quick want to point out a couple of things. The first is the output location. If you have used template, and the template is set to the default, then Raw Therapy will export to the same folder, but create a new folder called Converted, and all of the images will be inside of that folder. Or you can save it to a specific folder that you choose. And then as far as the file format goes, you can choose between a JPEG, TIFF, or PNG, depending on what you're doing, whether you're editing. I generally leave things at JPEG. And then for the JPEG quality, I stick around 92%, 90, between 90 and 92. Finally, if you wanna save the processing parameters with the output file, you can click this save processing parameters. And that will save the same file that it saved with your raw file that raw therapy looks at to apply all of the different filters and exposure compensation, etc. The last little thing to look at is auto start. So if you have this ticked and you put images into the queue, then Raw Therapy will just automatically export them based on these settings. So just make sure that you have these settings set if you're gonna tick that on. I personally don't tick it on because I wanna make sure that I set my save location as well as my file format. So I'm gonna click the use template button and then I'm going to click go. Now that Raw Therapy is done processing the photos, I've gone ahead and opened up the main folder and as you can see, I have all of these photos. There's the .pp3 file, which is the processing profile that Raw Therapy creates. And we have this folder converted. If I double click into that, you can see that all of the images here are JPEGs and I can flip through them and we can figure out what we wanna do with those images. If you're someone like me who generally overshoots, batch processing can be such a lifesaver. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, consider liking the video. If you like this content and you want more tutorials about raw therapy, Darktable, Lightroom, potentially DaVinci Resolve, or Premiere Pro, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or even other suggestions of other tutorials, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.